and the state government adopt strict regulations to ensure a noiseless metropolis. This formed part of discussions at a noiseless Lagos summit organized by the Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency. Esther Mopariola reports. Noise pollution is a major environmental problem in many rapidly growing cities like Lagos. Frequent exposure to high levels of noise, experts say, can cause severe health problems. As part of its continued efforts to create public awareness while ensuring compliance to the state's environmental laws, the Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency held a one-day noiseless Lagos summit for residents in the state. We are essentially telling you that people have legitimate hearing deficits from continuous protracted exposure to noise pollution across town. And I mean, unless people see these consequences, um, they may not believe that these things have damaging effects. So we are pushing out the message you know, so that people who are the culprits, popularly known for noise pollution, will you know, take responsibility for what they are doing. And then they would consider you know, the recipients of these um, infractions as victims of the activities. We want to eradicate noise. We want to stop noise in Lagos State. We want noise to stop from residential houses. We don't want noise from the transport, from vehicles. We don't want noise from re religious houses, even from companies, from facilities. So we believe we can still have our, our past Lagos. We can still have a beautiful Lagos that is cleaner, that is void of noise. We believe we can have our program without noise. While this action proves to be significant, it is believed that implementing tough regulations on noise pollution in the metropolis will make a difference. Noise, if not controlled, has a lot of effect on human health, ranging from hypertension. When you have a noise pollution, then you're going to have an increase in the heart rate. And again, we have a serious effect on our ears, on our hearing, ranging from temporary uh, impairment uh, hearing loss to permanent hearing loss, which is called deafness. As a result of this, everybody has a responsibility, ranging from the types of noise from transportation to the one we generate in our neighbors. In the meantime, the agency in the past six months has carried out about 375 enforcements to ensure sanity and compliance with the state's environmental laws. Esther Mopariola. TVC News.